Welcome to Craft Renewing at the Saskatoon Public Library. Today we are here on Treaty 6 territory and the traditional homeland of the Métis. And we're going to try to make some roses out of paper from books. I'm going to show you first what they look like so you can have an idea. This can be quite beautiful. Of course, they can be made out of other kinds of paper as well. Is one that I read out of some yellow paper I happen to have. But they work very well out of paper from old books. And you think, but this is a library program. You're making, making things out of old book paper. Well, that I'm using was actually a very old university text. So anyway, I thought you would like to see this. So here I am. I have my paper. How we're going to start. First of all, we need to fold the paper in half, then fold it into quarters, then we're going to fold it into eighths at the edge. So now we have a little triangle of paper. Now what we're going to do next is take a pencil, and I'm just going to draw a little, kind of a half a circle, petal shape, if you like. And I'm going to make four of those, all the same. There's one page. If you happen to be sitting around with no scissors, you could even just tear these. And I'll show you here in just a minute. Tearing works as well. It just leaves your paper a bit rougher. This particular rose was made with paper I just tore. By the way, if you want a little bit more color than just the book paper, you can also just use a crayon or something and pre-color your paper. So we're just going to use a little bit of purple crayon. Do that. We're going to snip off the end just a little bit, and that way, if we want to, we can put a stamp in. Doesn't take much of a snip. I'm going to open them out. The first one I open, I'm going to cut out one segment. That's from here to here. And I'm going to keep that one segment. So we have one piece with seven and one with one. I'm going to put out my second one. This time I'm going to cut out two pieces. One. Put the two over here and the other one next here. Now my third piece. This time I'm going to cut out three slices. Slice right here. Over one, two, three. Take that one off. This is going here. This one's going here. And then my fourth one. I'm going to cut it in half. So it'll have four and four. This time I don't need two fours. I'm only going to keep one. So I'm going to put one here. Now, we're going to, just going to start with this one here with all the segments. And we're going to put glue on one side and glue this to it. Um, I'm just going to use a glue stick. 
Uh, you can use white glue, it works really well too, but a glue stick is fine if that's what you've got. Break this over so I'm going to glue on top of my, my base. Now glue stick, of course, isn't deeply sticky, so if you need to, get a paper clip on it for a couple minutes. Not the end of the world, but it'll help it to stick. Okay, so that one's going aside over here. Now I do my next one. Again, I'm going to cover one whole segment here with glue. Stick it together. You may need to double your to check your glue when you're finished to make sure that they actually stuck. The fourth one. Now this one is getting down to four. I'm not going to completely cover that last section. I'm only going to do it about half. I'm still going to tuck it in like that so that it's quite, and you can see they're getting quite cupped by now. Now we go down to the third, and again, I'm only going to put glue on half of this. Stick it together. Put on a paper clip. My number two. A little bit of glue there. And my number one, this is going to be pretty small, so I'm just going to put a little glue down the edge of it, down the edge of it and roll it up. Curl the edges a little bit. And you can do it with the edge of a pencil, but with this first one at least, I'm just going to curl it slightly with my fingertips. I'm going to put it down to dry just to sit there. But the edge is just a little bit curled. Let's go back to all of these ones. Just curl the edges a bit. Like I say, curling them around a pencil is quite fine since we have a pencil. And they don't have to be curled a whole bunch. Just a little bit of And we're going to glue this one into the next one. I'm going to put a little bit of glue stick on, but even if you use a little bit of glue stick, you will find that you would like to have a little bit more glue before you're finished. So it doesn't hurt to drop some down in. I'm going to put that in, and then I'm going to take the paper clip off. I can, or maybe even before. Paper clip off, drop it down in. And squeeze it just a little bit so it's touching against the edges. I'm going to do the next one. Put some glue stick on it. Find my next hole. Drop it into there. Next one. Glue around the outside of this. Like I say, the glue's here. Go 
things into there. So I'm going to stick around it. looking quite beautiful. I haven't taken out all of the paper clips yet. I'm going to take a little bit of glue. Drop some down into the edges here. going to put a stem in. I have a chenille stick here and we're going to use it to make a stem through the flower. As you can see what we were going to do is put it through the center and the flower and then make it quite beautiful. Then I'll make a leaf and here we have our flowers in our rods. Thank you so much for coming to Craft Please have a wonderful day.